the academy just for five minutes or so, Paul, if we can. Um, obviously, we're looking to get back our status. Yes, we are. We're, we're Tell us a, about that. So, so you know, we're in a we're in a, a window of opportunity, really, at the moment. We've got new ownership in who were really focused on supporting the academy but it's also you know a, an alignment with the new Burnley way and what yep. we won't do is you know we won't rush into things we won't just jump at something just because we feel we have to we, what, whatever decision we make is what we feel is best for our football club for the long term we're here for there's a long term strategy here so it's really important that you know the infrastructure's there we build on on the infrastructure we build on the Burnley way with our playing philosophy our recruitment strategy and that will be hopefully what we what we our intention is is to have an academy that is self-sufficient and and so that will mean you know as, as developing our own players yeah it'll mean us recruiting players and yeah. it'll hopefully then that will give us a return of investment so um, you know, there's a there's a real focus on on the academy at this football club. Our owners have, have said that from from day one, for, from them walking in the building. You know, so um, it's just at the moment. You know, we've got to really focus on developing the infrastructure and making sure that we can support the first team because that's sure. the sole focus. Yeah, yeah. I, I mean, under 21 level, under 18 level, uh, but Burnley have been competitive. Uh, and, and certainly getting results this season. Yeah, we, we, we've, we've been competitive, whether we were a Cat 1 club or, whether, yeah. you know, Academy, whether you're Cat 2, you know. Ultimately, the focus is not is not the is not the tag for us. It's not the, the you know, whether you're Cat 1, 2 or 3 or 4. Yeah. What it is is, you know, what everyone should understand is it's our, our priority is to develop players for our first team. So irrespective of, of the categorisation is what we do to is best for our football club and so far as we've seen now with the, with the new manager and how we how we're doing things we've had three three players who've made the debut this season yeah you know Joe Barres is in a, in a really good good place Dara Costello's made his debut and Marcel Lewis has come through so you know the message out there is that our focus is making sure that we we develop players and recruit players for our first team you know winning Winning games is a byproduct of having good players yeah. in, your, in your system, but yeah. it, it, for us, it's not not the focus about winning the football matches. It's making sure that we have the right infrastructure in place uh, to to support our players and develop our players. It, it was quite an event when uh, Joe made his debut at 16 in the Carabao Cup tie against Crawley Town, wasn't it? Just at 16, had everybody yeah. looking back at the record books, one of the youngest to play for the club. I mean, tell us a little bit about Joe. Right. Joe's done terrifically well because you know he came in as a 16 year old only a number of months ago in July yeah. as a first year scholar he went up to Scotland with the under 18s group and very quickly made the transition to the under 21s and not long after that you know with the manager watching and, and, and I think one, one good thing about our football club at the moment is that the first team staff are well aware of our young players and young players get an opportunity at Burnley Football Club so if the you know a message out there for for any any young any parent of any young players thinking about coming to join Burnley Football Club and the academy is that you know you get you get an opportunity at our football club and Joe Barres has had a, not only an opportunity who trains every day with our first team yeah. but he, he got he got the chance to to pull a shirt on and make his debut so you know we, we're in we're in a good position but you know we always want to be better and we want to make sure yeah. that the, the the cycle there is that we've got two or three every year that you know and, and, that, and, and yeah and, and, and we, we'd love them to break through we'd love to have more but you know we, we have to have these targets and the target is that we can have this production line that keeps supporting the first team absolutely yeah we were talking about the game at Leyland yesterday against Swansea 3-3 it was a very young under 21 side 
Burnley don't tend to play overage players at that level it, 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 unless it's absolutely necessary. Well, what we, you know, if there's an overage player in playing for the 21s, it's probably because they're a first team player who needs some game minutes and, you know, haven't played for a period of time or have been out injured, something like that. So, and, and in that respect, Phil, it also helps our young players because if you've got a does. senior player yeah. playing alongside them, it gives them some guidance. But yeah. our philosophy is that we want to challenge our players. And so, if our young players are getting challenged against players that are two or three years older than them then you know that, that that's a really re- really healthy position to be in because if you take yourself back all them years ago Phil when you were a young lad playing footy it's a long time you, <laughs> you played you played against lads who were 12 you know two three four years yeah. older than you didn't you in yeah. the playground or on your corners of your streets and on the fields that's what I did yeah. so you know but that's where we want to challenge them but in a in a more structured environment and, and yesterday was a really you know as I watched the 21s now and the more games that we see the training program is really reflective of of that and so I can see a lot of similarities now filtering down into the academy system of of, uh, the specifics of what we want our players to be.